Hey there guys, it's Silas, and I want to give a quick follow-up to the video I put out on Friday of the Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition Gaming Outside the Box episode. The reason I'm doing this is because it's come to my attention that, you know how when video games are released, certain copies are given to the press, and occasionally the companies that make them give out these extra little little bits to try and entice you to give it a good review... Like, I've seen baseball caps and stress balls and water bottles and themed snacks and all sorts of weird shit given out with video games for press. But let's let's address the problem here. I loved the Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition. I was annoyed that there was a Prestige Edition. But I am fucking furious at the press kit. The Dark Souls 3 press kit, which I don't get because I don't have good enough connections... The Dark Souls 3 press kit was way better than both of those collector's editions combined. And I'm going to hopefully, I'm going to try and find you a picture of it if I can. And I'm going to put it on the screen now. The Dark Souls 3 collector's edition has the statue, the art book, the iron-on patches, the soundtrack CD, and all that lovely stuff. In a cardboard box with a pretty nice design on it. The Dark Souls 3 press kit contains the iron-on patches, posters, all other sorts of shit, and it's in a nice wooden box. Now, if you're familiar with Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition, the Japanese one, the Japanese Collector's Edition came with um, metal replicas of iconic weapons from Dark Souls 2, and that was presented in a nice wooden box with a latch, and it was very, very nice. But that, that wasn't a press kit. That was a collector's edition you could buy. People would pay money for. The Dark Souls 3 press kit is essentially better than the collector's edition. So, if you are a video game collector, as most of us are, at least most of us who watch that video, you would want the wooden box and all the extra accoutrement that came with it. And I have seen on eBay... People, members of the press, selling their press kit, and the bids are going up to like $600, $700 for a press kit. It's, it's outrageous that these companies give the press, who are in their circle, so to speak, a better product as a way of enticing a nice review, you know, all back alley hand jobs and uh, closed uh, behind closed door stuff, you know. But it's it's embarrassing that this is a state the industry has got to. If they want to score a good review, have a good game. That is all you need. You don't need to give out bribes. If you're a decent journalist, you will not be taken in by this stuff. I mean, people on YouTube that have done the review of it and actually got the press kit, a lot of them have sent it back. Because they've seen the prices these things are going for on eBay. They know it's a better product than even the Collector's Edition. And even the bloody Prestige Edition. I mean, granted, the Collector's Edition and the Prestige Edition have the statues. And if, you, if like me, you like to put statues on your shelf and prove to the world that you are a colossal nerd. Then that's fine. But where, where's the logic? Where is the logic in giving out something better than even the Collector's Edition to press for free? If they sold that and offered that as the collector's edition, and I'm not saying this is the way it should go, they could really hike the price up. I I paid nearly £100 for that collector's edition. The prestige edition is even more than that. But imagine if they gave it out in the wooden box, and I don't know why the Japanese collector's edition got the uh, nice metal facsimiles of the weapons from Dark Souls 2, and the Western one didn't. But I would have loved that. And if I could afford the ridiculous prices those things go for on eBay, I would have one. So, can anyone think for a moment why it's a good idea to give out, for free, to press, a better product than the thing you have on sale? I mean, I know the main meat of it is the game, and that's what you should be focusing on. But the price is so ridiculously hiked up between the standalone game, and the collector's edition already. Why give out a better one for free? 
So if anyone can explain that kind of logic to me, then please feel free to do so in the comments below. Until our next little rant, I've been Salas. Fucking press edition is better than the collector's edition, what the fuck? And I will see you next time.